Now we're part way on the Goldilocks loop and I started the video again to show you these really cool plants. They're kind of fluffy and there's tons of them. Those are the three bears, quite sure. This is just a beautiful alpine meadow. Tons of those nice purple flowers in there, pinkish purple. Lots of these too, which are interesting. Okay. We're in the rocky gully here, getting into the scrambling part a bit. And uh, this rock has got some of the fossils that I was talking to you about earlier. A couple of the rocks here have those kind of fossils. And uh, the texture in those rocks over there is also really cool. So, yeah. We've made it up to a bit of the uh, snow and ice here in the shade of the gully. And also you can see down where we came from that's the lake. And you can see there's the blue spray paint dots to follow to see where we need to go. So this is what we just climbed up through the gully there. There's the snow down there. And it's a nice mountain, one of the bears. And then we're almost to the top of the gully and we'll see the views over the other side. So we came from the gully over there and now right here, we are gonna be coming over the other side to see the views around the back. This is always one of my favorite moments of a hike like this getting to the other side to see the views. Wow. And they are beautiful. Look at that. Climb down here just a little bit. Okay. This is the back of the loop. And here we are. See, keep going through here. It's like a meadow, another nice alpine meadow up on the back there. There's one of the bears, and this one right here really big. Wow. Oh, and there's some snow and ice in there. Like a little, little glacier. We're going to be going down there now. Really nice. Okay. So keep going down the trail here. And uh, 
a little bit further. The trail goes down there now. Now I can show you the mountain here. Uh, oh, look at that. That's some mountain goats. Rocky Mountain Goats, wow. They just ran across the ice. That's super cool. Let's see if I can get them. That's super cool. Let's see if there's more. There they go. Wow, look at them go. It looks like a baby one in the front. Look at them climb. It's a really steep slope too. So the mountain goats are still there and they're climbing up the rocks and oh I thought maybe that was the sound of rocks falling but they're still there they're climbing up and I think mountain goats oh, yeah, this is jumping up a bit mountain goats the way that they can climb so so such steep rock faces is that they have cupped hooves that are almost like little suction cups on the rocks and so they can stand on a ledge i believe as small as four centimeters it's up there i'll show you you can see the switchbacks of the trail up there and over through the gap between the mountains. So that is where we will be going in a while. For right now we're stopped eating a sandwich and watching the goats. Super cool. It's really rare to see them like this. These are the Rocky Mountain goats from my zoom lens. Wow. They climbed up this whole mountainside, the side of the gully, like it was nothing. There's the trail that we're gonna go up, on the other side of the loop. Mountains. And the Rocky Mountain Goats, a family of four. The baby one is sitting up at the top. That's really cool. We're a little further down now, and I just wanted to show you, there's some more snow in that uh, valley there. And you might be able to see that it's slightly pink on top. And that is actually because there is algae, the algae grows on the ice in the mountains. So I'll show you the view up there as well, it's really nice and green. And here's the really, really big chunk of snow. Like I said, it's August, so it's because it's shaded here. And up there is still the family of mountain goats. Now we just climbed out of the gully through all the switchbacks that I showed earlier. Down there you can see the trail where we came from. And uh, so this is just a really nice view of the valley there. It's 
It's really green up the sides of the valley. You can still see the mountain goats in the distance, but it's hard to see on camera. So here's the mountain here. And up there. Anyways, that's a really nice valley. And continue here. And this should take us. Ooh, slipped a little. This should take us into the next gully where we'll be coming down through a bit of shale. A bench. Looking for the trail here. Looks like it goes up here. Oh, wow. Look at this. Lots of snow in there. That's a nice mountain. Oh, no, the trail does not go through here. It looks like this is just a viewpoint. Yeah. Nice view there. No, the trail goes down over there. Back on the right path now. I've just stopped to show you the gully here. There's lots of snow and ice in the bottom. Some really nice mountains over there. Really nice texture on them. Here's the gully. Down there you can see the lake and some mountains. Nice. The path is a bit steep and windy here to come down, but you might see that this valley here, where the mountains converge, and it goes through here. I actually think it looks like, looks to me like it's a glacial cirque, which is actually what happens when a glacier kind of carves out a bowl in the mountains. And so we've passed through a couple of those now, but it's usually got a distinct kind of round bowl shape like this. I've been in a few others before. I have some other videos of that on my channel. It's super green up on that mountain there too. But yeah, I have a few other videos of climbing through cirques, but hiking in the alpine above the tree line is really, really cool. And the Rocky Mountain goats that we saw earlier, I've seen Rocky Mountain goats before, but never, I haven't ever seen them like today with that. I haven't ever seen them hiking and I haven't, like while hiking, I haven't seen them climb up a, a rock face like that. It's a nice view. So we're just climbing down through here. I can see the path on the other wall of this valley in the distance. So that's where we're going. We're climbing down now. Ooh, gotta be careful. Normally I'd have be using both poles right now, but I've gotta hold the camera, so I'm kinda using two with one hand. <laughs> poles are really helpful when it's steep. Both going up and down actually. I was once told also that having two poles takes about 30% of the weight of your backpack off of you. So that can be really helpful if you're going on long treks. So, yeah, it's looking up back in the glacier, kind of like the, I don't know if they're if they're big enough to classify as glaciers, but they're kind of snowy chunks. And, uh, yeah, so I'll continue making my way down, down this rocky path 
down through the valley. And, uh, whoa, gotta be really careful with my footing. So I'm gonna turn off the video so I can watch my footing better and I'll check in soon. The pathway continues over there. And to get there, we've got to cross the snowy patch. So I'm hiking in snow in the summer. That's fun. I don't get to do that often. Back on the path. That was fun. Yeah, you've got to be at a high elevation to uh, to do that in the summer. On the other hand, winter hiking is also a ton of fun. You can check out some of my snowshoeing videos on my channel as well. That's where we just came down from. And the sun's out on this nice rock face here. And I can see the lodge over way down in the valley. There it is. And uh, yeah. Nice.